Okay, so we're now going to sign the ketubah. This is a beautiful ketubah from the Rabbanut of Gush Etzion. <laughs> okay, um, basically the two Aedim are Ben and Michal, right? Are you related to each other? No. You sure? You're related to him? To him? And his daughter, to Aviva? No, you sure not? Okay, excellent. We're in business. Okay, so this place he says on this day, uh, uh, Yoshi taking on his responsibilities as a good Jewish husband to look after his wife and everything that uh, that entails. Aviva's taking on her responsibility to be a good, a good wife. Uh, and we are signing this ketubah. Okay, so before we do the signing, we do the actual transaction. So Ben, this is now yours. This belongs to you. It was actually the <laughs> handkerchief I used in my wedding 27, 21 years ago. But now um, it's yours, because you want to be ideal for the moment. Okay, and basically what uh, we're going to do, the, the Kinyan of the Ketubah is really the way that Yoshi is going to obligate himself to take upon what he wrote here in the Kutubah, what, what we discussed also in the Rabbanut a week ago, all the responsibilities. Okay? The photographers are here, everyone's here. Okay. <laughs> so you hand that to Yoshi and you lift it up. You got that? You guys both saw it? Michal, you saw it? Okay. Mazel tov. Do I have to drag it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, we're going to have the two Aedim sign the Ketubah. This is the original copy that's going to stay with you guys always. This is a Pe'etek Ketubah. It's going to go back to the Rabbanut. So it will be, there'll always be a copy there as well. You basically sign your full Hebrew name. Then so and so, then your father's name, and then your surname. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's a different Hebrew name than it is in Russia. Yeah. Okay. So, so do the Hebrew name? Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Okay. No.
just sketch it out. No, it's fine, it's good. It's a fine it's good. Oh, well. it's good. Oh, oh, well. Well. Okay. Well, that explains why I did. Mm. I just forgot. Okay. In any case, I went into something else. Okay, so let's Okay, so let's do the same thing on this on the other tip. On the tip. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay, you ready? Okay.
put your hand like you want to find it. Can you see milk in the rain? And they write yeah. Give a the
like to call upon Rabbi Krengel, Rabbi of the Kalah. I've been zakhir to do weddings overlooking the Kotel by uh, Masada. But this is a first, to stand by the Marat Machpela at this beautiful moment of the Chupa of two incredible Neshamot, two incredible souls, Yoshi and Aviva, and the coming together of two incredible families. And this week's parsha, Hebron appears. In this very parsha, we hear the story of the spies and their journeys into the Holy Land. And we come across a very interesting verse. The Pasuk says, V'ya'alu v'negev, and that seems to imply in the plural, all of the spies. But then the verse switches to the singular. V'yavo ad Hebron. And then he, and only he, came to this very spot, standing here 3,000 something years ago. So who was that he? How come it's only one of the spies? So the famous commentator Rashi brings down the Gemara in Sota Lamedala Damad Bet, the famous Gemara, that says that he was Kalev. Yoshua had been given a special guidance by Moshe. So he didn't need as much help as Kalev did. Kalev himself needed to come to this spot, to the forefathers, to David. Why did he decide to do that? I think if we look at the story of the spies, we have an incredible message of perspective. It all depends on how we look at something. The ten other spies took a negative slant on everything. But Kalev, he wanted to generate a positive and optimistic perspective. And the best way to do that, he felt, was to align himself with the forefathers. To look at this incredible land through the eyes of Abraham and Yitzhak and Yaakov and their wives, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel and Leah. Because when Abraham heard the voice, Lech Lecha, leave everything you know and come to my land, to Hashem's land, he dropped everything and he followed. So Caleb knew by coming here that would give him the right perspective to look at the land in the right way. And because of that we are told, Rashi explains, he inherited this land, Caleb, and there's even a street, when I was driving on the bus and they <coughs> mentioned Caleb Street, right here, it all fits together. And I think this is so true for the two families standing here tonight. I happen to have known Aviva from when she was a young girl. I'm also getting a bit emotional. <laughs> her family, I knew her late Zayda Peter, a very special man. I know her granny who's in our thoughts tonight, Shirley, and her extended family. But from the beginning I was struck by a family that has a positive perspective. And Aviva came on Kfar, and a lot of her teachers and uh, fellow pupils were here, and then she came again on MTA, and she decided, like the forefathers and like Kalev, this was her place, and this is where she wanted to be, and she wanted to make her life here. And then I've gotten to know the Tal Or family and heard this amazing story. A family who really heard the Lech Lecha, just like Abraham Avinu, from way out there in the Bundogs, <laughs> uh, to follow the voice of Hashem. I'm so glad to know some of the siblings, uh, Annelix living alone, Shvut. My son, my daughter is in Ghanath, Michael. So, two families who followed this correct perspective getting married right here. And my message to Yoshi and Aviva is that this is the perspective you go into marriage because Abraham and Sarah and after that Yitzhak and Rivka and Yaakov and his wives they really taught us what marriage is about, what is a family about to bring your positive perspective into a marriage to always look at your spouse in a positive way to look at your children in a positive way and generate positivity to continue building the nation that was started right here in Hebron Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pri HaGafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Ashe Kiddishanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu 
על האריות ואסר לנו את הארוסות והתיר לנו את הנשואות לנו על ידי חופה וקידושין ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש עמו ישראל על ידי חופה וקידושין Now we come to the actual Kiddushin, the betrothal that will create this exclusive relationship between Yoshi and Aviva. We have a very special ring. That he bought from his grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's show the aid in the ring. What do you guys think? This is Shabbat Prota. He paid good money for this. <laughs> Even though it was an heritage we showed that he still paid and it belongs to him. Very special ring. Okay, so Yoshi is now going to say the following line, and with this, he will betroth Aviva to himself. הרי את מקודשת לי ותבעת זו כדת משה וישראל. hug for the Khatan to put on a new talit and uh, it's called Zaytan so you can say the bracha for the talit and then you can also say Shekhyane because it's a new talit but the Shekhyane is also on the couple coming together I think Gerald can also say Shekhyane for the first time being in Eretz Yisrael <laughs> so you can say it together with him ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם, השקל שלנו מצוותה וצוענה לתתפך בציצית. ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם, שהחיינו וגיימנו והגענו לזמן הזה. I would like to call out Rabbi Yaakov Faber, Rabbi at Yeshivat Darcha Noam, teacher of the Chata. The Shlishi Vishabbat, Shnayim Vesem Yom, Lechor Yisivan, Shnas Chamesh, Salat Mushvame, Yosef Shivim Vachamesh, the Briyas Olam, the Minyan Shanamon and Khan, the Ira Kodesh Hebron, the Boneva Sikonim. Anan Sahadi, Eich Echatan, Velvel Yoshiyahu, Ben Pinchas Moshe, Upnina Shira, Amar Lahada Besulta, Maras Aviva, Bas Gedalia, Vachana Rivka, Leves Davids, Machatan, Mishbachatal Or. Heavy Leila Intu, Kidas Moshev Yisrael, Vana Bememra, Vasiata Dishmaya, Eflach Vokir, Vezon Vafarnes Yasichi, Kehilchos, Govern Yudoyin, the Falchen, the Mokrin, Vizanin, the Mafarnesin, Yasnesheim, the Kushta, the Yehivna Lichi, Kesev Zuzi Moson, the Chazi Lichi, Mazanaichi, Ksasaichi, Vsibukaichi. ומייל ובסייכי כאורך כל ערה. וצביאס מורס אביבה באסקדליה, בסולטה דו והבא סלילינטו. וקיבל לו וחסן הנדוניה דהנול אסלי, אמא תוספס תהוסף לו מדילי כנהוג. סך הכל כסופטה דו הנדוניה והתוספת עולים לסך מסיים זוז ועוד שבעים ושניים אלף שקולם חדושים. וכך עומר יאושיעו חסן דנן. אחראי יש תר כסופתא דו נדוניה דין ותוספתא דו קבלי סלאי ועל ירסוי ועשרוי לספורה מכל שפר הרג ניכסין וקניונין ואיסלי תחוץ כל שמיה דקנוי דוסנר על המקנה 
Nixin the Islon Achrayis and Leslon Achrayis. Kulon Yehon Achroyin Vavoyin Lefrom and Hon Shtak Sufta Da and Dunya Dein with Tosefta Da. Vafilim and Glima Dal Kaspoi. Vachaya Yavosar Chaim and Yoma Dinan Al Alam. Vachrayis Vachomer Shtak Sufta Da and Dunya Dein with Tosefta Da. Kivla Lav Yoshio Chasan Dinan. Kechomer Kol Shtarik Suvos with Tosefta Os Dinagin Bevnos Israel. Asuyin Kitikan Chazal. The Lok Asmachta and the Lok Kitovsi the Story. Fisaladim of Vital Modos. The Kanina Minvelvo Yoshio, Ben Pinchas Moshe, Ufnina Shira, Lemeshbachas Tal Or, Kasandanan, Lemoas Aviva, Baskidalia, Vachana Rivka, Leves Davids, the Sultada, Al Kalma, the Chasav Mephorish Lael, the Mona the Koshal Miknebe, the Kal Sharir, Uberir Vakayam. Naum. Yehuda Shimshon, Ben Shmuel, Yitzchak Halpern, Eid, Unaum Michael, Ben Dov, Gorshine, Eid. Kamani Achasan Moda Al Kol Anal, Avasi Al Chasum, Yom Anal, Velva Yoshio, Ben Pinchas Moshe, and Mishbachas Talor. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Chatan, we'll pass with the Messira. We pass this on to your Kala. Okay. <laughs> For the first and second blessings, I'd like to call up Jeremy Kernet from Midrash Taroba, friend of the Kala. <laughs> Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam More pri agafeh Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech Blessing Moshe Goshen Shakhan and friend of the Khatan and Shalom. <laughs> אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר יצר את האדם בצלמו בצל את דמות אביתו והתקין לו לא בעניינו בעניין הדעת ברוך אתה אדוני יוצר האדם For the seventh blessing, Josh Seshold, friend of the Khatan. <laughs> Oh, 
ששון בשמחה, חתן וכלה, גילה רינה דיסה וחלבה, אהבה ויחווה ושלום ורעות. מהרה אדוני אלוהינו ישמע בערי יהודה, ובחוצות ירושלים. וכל שמחה, כל חתן וכל כלה. כל מסחרות חתנים וחופתם ונעמים משתי נגינתם. ברוך אתה אדוני, משמח החתן עם הכלה. יישר כוח, צריך חתן מודיעין. Noah Abramovitz, friend of the Khatan, for the prayer for the Khayadim. שברך אבותינו אברהם, יצחק ויעקב, הוא יברך את חיילי צבא ההגנה לישראל ואנשי כוחות הביטחון העומדים על משמר ארצנו וערי אלוהינו מגבול הלבנון ועד מדבר מצרים הגדול עד לבוא הערבה ובכל מקום שהם, ביבשה, באוויר, בים ובתוך במצורות הים. ייתן אדוני את אויבינו הקמים עלינו ניגפים לפניהם, הקדוש ברוך הוא ישמור ויציל את חיילינו מכל צרה וצוקה ומכל נגע ומחלה וישלח ברכה והצלחה בכל מעשה ידיהם ידבר שונאינו תחתיהם ויעטרם בכתר ישועה ובעטרת ניצחון ויקוים בהם הכתוב כי אדוני אלוהיכם ההולך עמכם להילחם לכם עם אויביכם להושיע אתכם ולומר אמן
Yoshi. Uh, I'd just like to wish you a huge Mazel Tov. Um, so glad I could be the MC and uh, enjoy this special time with you guys. Um, Yoshi, welcome to the family. Look forward to getting to know you and um, hope you guys build a, an amazing life together. Mazel to the Katan and Kala. That's what they told us to say. Mazel Tov. I love you, see you in a Just want to wish you from you and myself all the muscle in the world. Hope to see you while you're And it is a lovely, lovely world. Thank you. Aviva, Yoshia, Mazal Tov, Mazal Tov, Mazal Tov. שנזכה בעזרת השם עוד השנה להיות בברית של הבן הבכור ותשמרו על הקשר, תבואו לבקר, אוהבים אתכם ושוב פעם המון מזל טוב Yoshi, Aviva, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. Baruch Hashem, I get to drive you home tonight so I get an exclusive time with you after the table. Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. You should have health, happiness, and laughter in your house. And, you have, ever. and show up on time to Sheva Baruch is tomorrow night. Yes, be on time. Be on time. <laughs> Mazel Tov! May this be the beginning of a long, happy and healthy life together. I'd have a stream in love and happiness. Thank you for the wonderful wedding. It's a beautiful wedding. Mazel tov. To Yoshi and Aviva, I want to wish you a hearty, hearty mazel tov on a special day. It's been a fantastic, fantastic wedding. The location has been fantastic. The food is great as usual and uh, it just couldn't be any better. Thank you so much for the invitation. Keep well and all the best for your future. Vivi and Yoshi, a hearty mazel tov. The most beautiful couple that I've ever seen. Uh, mazel tov from all of us. We both look great tonight and may you just merit to be a beautiful, kosher, home, lovely, holy land. And Vivi, you always welcome. As always, even though you're married, you're both welcome to spend Shabbat with us. We love you lots and thank you for this beautiful, most special Simcha and a very special place. We love you, love you. Hi, from all of us, the Lando family. Hi in South Africa, we miss you all and I'm sure you're going to see this video soon. And just so sorry that you all were not with us tonight. But please go out and other Simchas. Love you lots. I love you all. Bye. Yoshi and Aviva Mazalto, we love you very much. Yoshi, I knew that when you came to your wedding this evening, you couldn't be sent before the Amut to Davan Mari from Mincha. So don't worry, they'll catch up with you in show. Hi, Yoshi and Aviva. I want to wish you a big Mazalto. I'm so happy to be here and to share this happiness with you. And I hope to wish you many other happy moments like this. Bisous. Yoshi, Vivi, I want to wish you Lots of mazel and broicha, and thank you for letting me be up for your simcha. And may we please God have many, many more simchas. Mazel tov! Mazel and a wonderful life together. Amen. Wonderful to be here. Beautiful, beautiful. Aviva, my darling daughter, it's hard for me to talk. Just want to wish you and your share a wonderful life together. It's wonderful that we're all together. Please God, we'll be together many more times in the future. And one day we'll come and live with you in Israel. Daddy and I are very proud of you and all you've achieved since we are. And just be happy with Yoshi and have a wonderful life and a wonderful future together. I love you, my doll.
The idea behind the dance was when your last child leaves home, you're kind of sweeping them out the door. And to me, the connotation of that was good riddance. You know, we're finally, we're finally rid of you. And um, see, they're singing, they're singing to the Chatan and the Kala. Okay. So I didn't like that idea because for me, my last child's wedding is kind of a bittersweet moment. On the one hand, I knew all along that children aren't a permanent gift, that God gives them to us, but he doesn't give them to us as a permanent gift. They're only on loan for a short period of time. And while we may have their love for a lifetime, we only have their presence for a short period of time. But I'm so proud of each of my children and who they've become that when each one leaves the nest, for me, it's a very sad thing. I miss your presence, your company, your help. <laughs> I, I have to buy a dishwasher now. <laughs> your spirit, the deep private talks that we have in those unexpected moments. I heard someone say the singing, yeah. Definitely the singing. And yet, I know that the hardest part of my job is finished, and it's your turn to raise the next generation. But I miss you. I don't want you to go, even though I know you need to go. The only consolation is that now, instead of four children, I have eight. And instead of a family of six, we're now a family of an uncountable number of people. In the book of Yeshayahu, chapter 54, the prophet has just finished the passage of the suffering servant explaining how Israel has been punished for her disobedience but in the end she will be vindicated and the nations will be speechless. He starts chapter 54 with a message of comfort to Israel and he says, enlarge the place of your tent, stretch out your cur the curtains of your dwellings, spare not, lengthen your cords and strengthen your tent pegs. He's telling Israel that the Jewish family is going to grow and Israel needs to be prepared. So rather than dancing with a broom, Pinchas and I decided, Pinchas, go ahead and come up here. I don't need to share this space alone. Pinchas and I decided that a more appropriate symbol of how we feel right now is actually a tent peg. We're so grateful to Hashem that as we grieve over the children who are no longer in our home, We've been blessed with a beautiful family and extended family that just continues to grow. So we're stretching the walls of our tent and strengthening the tent pegs. And as silly as it may sound, I thought it would be appropriate, as silly as it may sound, to give a tent peg to each of the parents of my children by marriage as a symbol of how thankful we are to have you in our lives. So let's go ahead and give the first one to Aviva's parents, our newest family members. Thank you for being a part of our family. And then we have Ellie and Bonnie Stern, who are Juliana's parents. And then we have Rachel and Svi Analek, who are Mayor's parents. Now, unfortunately, we have one pair of parents that are not here with us, and that's Libby's parents. So I was going to give Libby the tent peg, and she's going to deliver it to them when she visits them this summer. And that is Jackie Stein. And what's your dad's name again? Marty. Marty. I don't know. I don't know Libby's parent, Libby's father, very well because her parents are divorced. But I know her mom real well, and so. Well, I guess somehow we'll have to figure out how to let them share that, but anyway. All right, so I'm almost done. Now, since I still have the microphone, there are a few people who need to be thanked 
publicly because without them we would not be having this beautiful simcha. Of course, first is Moshe Goshen who made the shidduch between Yoshi and Aviva. And second is Bella Hyman, a friend of the family who not only made the cakes but spent hours endless hours of frustration calling bus companies, movers, the Ma'ara, and again she baked the lovely cakes that we're about to enjoy and that Juliana, so this is a thank you to Juliana, decorated. If anybody is having a simcha and you want a cake decorated, she is the person to call. I watched her make those roses like a boss. All right, and last but certainly not least, my mom known to most of the people in our family as Nana, because she really did help make this happen. So thank you everybody for joining us. I love you and thank you for helping us make this last very special Simcha an amazing, amazing experience. Good evening everyone, Erev Tov Lekulam. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Brandon. Those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Brandon. I am the brother of the Kala, and uh, I've been given the honor of being the MC as well as uh, making a speech about the couple. So let's do this. Um, so sitting in my office about three months ago, I received a call with the exciting news that my little sister is getting married. Um, just feels like yesterday when I've ever used to go out dressed like a boy, wearing military pants and gelling back her hair, copying everything her older brother did. <laughs> it's incredible to see what an amazing, mature and ambitious woman she has become. Aviva and I as close as a brother and sister could get, however this does not mean that there hasn't been crazy amounts of crying and screaming along the way. Like the time she chased me around the house with one of my golf clubs for hacking her Facebook, or the time she tried to throw the TV remote at me while breaking it for driving her mad. Vivi Poo, I couldn't wish for a better sister and I'm sure you and Yoshi will build an amazing life together. A friendly warning though, just because you are married doesn't mean I'll stop bugging you and changing your Facebook statuses. <laughs> I'd also like to pay a special mention to our incredible parents, Gerald and Ryan. Without, without you guys, Aviva and I would not be half the people we are today. You are both a continuous source of inspiration and have always shown us the right path to take in life. We both love you so much and are lucky to have you in our lives. Simchas like these are the, time, are the times when the loss of loved ones is felt. Zayda Peter, Boba Joey and Zayda Paul would be so proud and I'm sure they're looking down on us right now. Also to Boba Shirley and the rest of the family in South Africa who could not make it, we are thinking of you and can't wait to see you soon. To the Talor family who I met for the first time about five hours ago. I've heard, I've, I've heard only good things about you and I look forward to getting to know you and sharing many more Simchas together. Finally, to Yoshi and Aviva, may you both build a strong and inspirational life together. I wish you success and happiness in everything that you do, and may you both go from strength to strength. Thank you. Two dozen eggs, five eggs of milk, but oh. Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together today. <laughs> now, before getting all mushy on you, I'd like to first thank some of the people about whom today never could have happened. I'd like to thank, first and foremost, HaKadosh Baruch Hu for creating and bringing Aviva and I together. <clears throat> I'd also like to thank both sets of parents for all they've done for the, the both of us. Thank you, Ima and Abba, Mom and Dad, or... <clears throat> or whatever you want me to call you. Um, not only for making the physical wedding happen for us, but for bringing us into this world and raising us to be the people we have become. Because without you, not only would this wedding not have happened, but this marriage and the new family it creates. Furthermore, I'd like to thank my dear grandmother, my Nana, who helped tremendously to make this wedding possible. And I'd also like to thank Moshe Goshen for being Hashem's shuliach and bringing my kala and me together. And yes, Moshe, I'm okay with South Africans. <laughs> In the
Inevitably, when someone is thanking a long list of people, they forget people. <coughs> I'll probably wake up at about mm, 2 o'clock in the morning and remember that I've forgotten to thank one of you. So therefore, I'd like to cover my bases right now and thank each and every one of you for coming and helping to celebrate this Simcha. Yes, round of applause for all of you. This verse in Mishlei tells us that he who finds a wife finds good. First of all, I'd like to say that what I've found is so far above good, so far above great, that there are no words to describe what a precious treasure God, uh, treasure God has given me in Aviva. Aviva, I look forward to our life with joy, knowing that our each moment with you is something that I will treasure. Aviva and I met, actually, we first WhatsApped a little bit before Rosh Hashanah. My first question to her was, do you like geeky things like Star Wars or Star Trek? You know, you gotta scout out the tra terrain first, right? Despite her negative answer to the aforementioned question, we first met face-to-face uh, -face on October 23rd, 2014. See, if you I still remember the date. <laughs> Anyhow, we talked over some iced coffees and set a date for the next date. The relationship flowered and on Purim 2015 in front of my whole family I proposed to Aviva. And yes, I've been asked multiple times since then if I was drunk when, uh, when I proposed. <laughs> oh, and to those who were wondering, yes, Aviva said yes. <laughs> in spite of the fact that Aviva does not like geeky things, we do have so much in common. We both have a love of Hashem, of Hasidut, of dedication to Torah and Judaism, and a love of Am Yisrael. Fortunately, other similar interests include food, music, and type of humor. But enough about me, let's talk, talk more about Aviva. To those who know Aviva, know that the phrase, great gifts come in small packages, is a thousand percent true. Aviva's love for her fellow Jew is boundless and amazing. She's so non-judgmental that she doesn't want to hear anything negative about another Jew, an attribute I wish everyone shared. In addition, her dedication to Hashem, Torah, and Judaism is unshakable. Sitting next to me is an incredible, unique, well, I sit, when I sit down, um, is an incredibly unique, amazing woman with a very special soul. Also, it doesn't hurt that she's dropped a gorgeous as well. My only hope is that Hashem grants us an amazing, easy life together, full of parnasah, shalom, and God-fearing children. I look forward to growing old with you, Aviva. Baruch Baruch atah Sam <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Baral Yehuda, Mechuzot Yishalayim, Okay, we have to go. What? Oh, 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 o